from My Beautiful Signs and Souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your three card general oracle uh, messages for September the 29th, 2019. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to them. Please be sure to click the bell button when you do subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these are out on open air for you to view on YouTube. As I said, this is a general reading. Every one of these cards may not resonate with you, but this is the collective reading for today. So if some of it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will direct you right into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below this video, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac. These are the decks I'm working with today, Nature's Whispers, The Power of Surrender, and The Wisdom Oracle. I have added the Ascended Masters as the all over collective energy that you need to uh, expect this day for some of you. So starting off, you have been given from the Ascended Masters, the Peace Offering. And this is a White Buffalo Calf Woman card. And this is telling me that, you know, there may be a situation right now you're dealing with. And you know what? You need to be willing to forgive and have compassion for everyone involved in a situation for some of you. And that includes yourself. I want you to accept another's apology if they're forthcoming with it today and see the humor in this in the uh, in the situation. So you know what? If you allow your compassion into the situation, love's healing power will ensure that everyone's needs are met harmoniously. Leave the details about how this situation will be resolved to the infinite wisdom of spirit. So this is all about looking at things today in a more peaceful way, a more compassionate, understanding, and forgiving manner. Now, starting off with the uh, the nature's whispers, you have been given the potential gateway, and this is uh, this this is interesting because you've been given two fifties, a number fifty in the deck, okay, a fifty in the wisdom oracle, and a fifty in nature's wisdom. And you know, if you if you drop the zero, you realize the number is a five, and the five is all about being cre being creative and looking at things in a more creative manner. And, you know, also, uh, you know, exploring and questioning others' motives this week and today especially. So you may see there could be some challenges or conflicts uh, that, that you will need to keep yourself calm here and stay in your peace within your own peaceful circle here that I talked about. And that's what I was saying. The all of our energy today is you need to stay in your peaceful circle. And there may be apologies and there may be forgiveness coming into play. But with this card... With this beautiful card, a potential gateway, you know, it's all about a new course or a new route, a new path that you may be taking. And it's coming in and it's about you coming into your own awareness. It's a time to utilize your knowledge and complete any tasks that you're working on right now. Okay, the tasks at hand, the immediate jobs that you're working on now. As you finish one aspect of your life, begin thinking about what you would like to do in the next. So plan ahead. This is a part of your life's journey. You're constantly shifting and developing and changing. You may feel contentment, fulfillment, and pride because you've accomplished something. There is productivity and a reward as a bonus for your efforts. The good fortune, you realize, is evidence that you're, you are putting sufficient energy into your life's journey to get out of it all that you desire. And again, when we talked about the number five, we talked about change, making the changes that you need to make to bring you to where it is you need to be on your path. Now, moving into the middle here with your power of surrender, you got surrender to silence. And we talked about taking yourself in the circle of peacefulness. Okay, so in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is the church on the island in, it looks like the church on the island in, uh, France. Okay, I won't get take you down a history lesson <laughs> right now, but we, I want you to take yourself to your circle of silence. Take yourself into that 
that spot where you can sit quietly on your own and think about and process what it is you want. But do it in, in a peaceful manner, in meditation. If it involves listening to your perfect music with your headset on, that's going to put you in that beautiful silent slumber state or getting yourself into water with the candles and the lavender and the oils soaking in the music while you soak in the warmth of the water. Water is extremely healing. Also salt in the water will cleanse you, will, will remove the negative uh, negative energy around you. So salts are very good to put in the water as well. I would use the salts individually, not with the oils or the other uh, you know, essential uh, things like throwing lavender in or anything. This is about taking yourself to the silence and meditating and often we get the answers to our biggest, most uh, uh, you know, powerful messages uh, and questions that we want answers to when we go to the silence. Your final card from the Wisdom of the Oracle is, and again this was a 50, number 50, the number 5, no place like home. So, you know, right now, you know, it could be the authenticity of coming home to yourself. Feeling comfortable within yourself and feeling at home within yourself, within your circle, within your energy, your personal vibration. Feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit in. And you're being comfortable in your own skin. And home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known to you and you can call your own. It signals that, you know, this card also signals that you need to, you need to look at your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin. And it's beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity, aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit and, and spirit itself. Your spirit and spirit itself. So, um, you know, this is great. This is where you feel at home, putting yourself in that position, okay? So there's a potential gateway opening here for you where if you study and you think about it and you take yourself into your circle of silence, you're going to be able to put yourself in that place of feeling comfortable, completely comfortable today. Remember to keep the peace and, okay, the peace offering here, the thought of peace offering, the thought of peace completely. This whole reading here today is talking about putting yourself in a peaceful state. So no matter how challenging things may get for some of you today, keep taking that breath, step back from that, that negative energy and put yourself into that place of peace. Well, my beautiful, beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac, this is your reading for today. Uh, and I wish you a great remainder to today as well. And remember, as I tell you every time you see me, the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you tomorrow.